Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today in this video I am going to show you how you can create a breadcrumbs uh, in material CSS for your website. So for those who don't know what are breadcrumbs are, so suppose you access a particular website uh, such as Amazon.in. So uh, over here you, ex uh, you browse from uh, clothing, you move to the section of clothing and then you move towards from clothing uh, to men's. Uh, the, from men's you move from t-shirts. So it will show in the navigational bar from which page you move from one page to another so i'll show you example of how what breadcrumbs are uh, so this is my github repository so you can see i have moved from this page that is this 136 that's my username uh, to this page that is a floating button that is the existing page so it will show a uh, user uh, the brief history of from which page they have navigated to the current page so it will be provide a basically a user uh, facility for the user to know exactly from how many pages they have moved to the current page. So without wasting time, let's build the breadcrumbs for our, for our website. So first of all, move to the materialicss.com. Uh, in the component section, you will find breadcrumbs. Just click on that. Uh, you will find this uh, first, second, and third. This is the example of breadcrumbs that we are gonna build. So to build this. To integrate this into your website, just copy this code below this breadcrumbs. Come back to your code, just paste it. Just save this and open in browser. Yes, as you can see, the first, second, and third. Third means the existing page. So suppose I'll give a link to this first and second uh, over here is google.com and www. Oh. I will rename this as Google. This is Yahoo, and this one as Siddhesh. Just save it. Let's refresh our page to look whether it's working or not. I click on Google. Okay. Save it, refresh. Yes, you can see uh, we have redirected to the Google page. So I will update this with also HTTP. This one too. Just save it. Go back. Mm -hmm. Let us click on Siddhish. Yeah, it has loaded my website. So in this way, uh, suppose this three represents the page. It is the multiple pages that uh, that your website contains. Uh, so suppose Google will be your first page on your website, whereas Yahoo will be the second page uh, through which the user navigates to previous ones. So I hope you understand uh, what are breadcrumbs and how you can create breadcrumbs in materialized CSS and integrate it on your website. So if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Till then, take care. Thanks a lot.